all you think is know how to learn your body to make a force right and you can apply into your daily life, you don't hurt yourself. But the, in order for you to do the force right, you have to know how to use it. How do I? You can, don't get it. See? So, the way to do it is you step in and, you see? And, see? Like that. Then lay it sharp, yeah, let it sharp, sharper. Okay? Sometimes you don't want to hurt him, you just boom, should push out. It's, a, it, it, it's very similar like uplift force. So this is the similar like you come in and you go out that way. You don't want to hurt him. Okay? So when you punch, you sink. The method you sink and make sure he give you the, the back. And here the back here, you punch. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> See a back there. <laughs> okay. Again. <laughs> Thank you. Eh? <laughs> you <see? laughs> okay. Sing a little bit. You got this sing. Pan sing. And. Okay. And it's back and sing. It, you can feel it. it I have one you first all, but you can feel. I can feel it. It. I don't use force. I can pound like this thousand times and not tired. You see? But you like that. But you, you get you get tired. But this is force already. That's it. That's how you get internal power. And the lady shuttle also you can do it in four corner. One, if you want to do with this or you do it like this, one, step two, step back, three. Step back, four, step back, and another corner, five. You can any corner that you want. Any corner. Any corner. You can chain any corner. You can chain any corner. So this is called single drill. See? This is very good because and very practical. Very useful. The word off. The word off. Word off. You see? Word off. Okay. Word off. The same. It's exactly. But uh, when you move fast, you know, and that is the, the word off again. The word off, you can change the million thing. For example, if I can knock him, from here, I go this way. So I'm really slow because this is very dangerous. Last the one year, I didn't knock him. <laughs> because it is it, is um, it like you pull the force in and you bend the force. It like a a, a collision, two collision that way, the force that way. So when he come in, what up? I pull his body in a little bit, and I from my hip, I go this way from here. It's very natural way. We go this way. It's a very natural way. And I slide up this way from the hip. So my hand here, I slide up boom, from here. And this is what the Yang Dong Pu knockout punch. That all is this punch only. He have two punch. Then he do one is very gentle one. And one is knockout punch. That's all he do. And he never do more than that. The other one is this. Boom. You know? That's why it's so big. <laughs> hey, one, two, that's all. <laughs> Whoever come up, that's it, how you do. <laughs> Boom, the whole day, the whole, it's so big. And when he use this, the whole body, 200 pounds plus the speed power, and 500 pounds. And you imagine 500 pounds bang on you this way. And that's what he do. That is, that is a, uh, grab the sparrow tail. So, so you see, yeah, and boom, the whole, the whole body pressing down, and leg on the back, boom. No need to fight much anything. <laughs> and uh, the movement is very quick. When you move, it go in and it's down. And the other one, it just now show you is, you see, because you, 
you get this line up this way, roll off, and the second, this punch up. And that's all you end here. Usually, when fighting is the three seconds you finish. The right, the Tai Chi master, when they fight, they, they see who's going to move first. So they end up standing there for one hour. Nobody going to move. <laughs> because when you move first, you make a mistake. If you don't move, you don't make a mistake. <laughs> okay? And the, and the word off is the leg. Word off, there are many. For example, you kick, word off. See? And the same thing that when you word off so much is when you turn. For example, when I turn, that's word off already. Or when, when you're going to kick me on the back, Okay, so when I turn, so you see, I, we make it slowly when I'm here, and I hear they're going to kick me, I stop, I turn. See? Because when you see me here, I move. See? When you see me here, I move. So I'm away. And that's exactly how your turn has to be this way. One, two. Strap on the leg. So the, this one is when you hold, don't hold, you grab on the elbow and you bang right on here. And uh, it's a very painful one, boom, you knock him. But uh, apparently, you are two, two different ways. You know? So you just grab right in here. And, um, and you actually you knock him that way only. The same thing in this hand also. So when he when he's too aggressive, come in and you knock him that way. If you want to want to a little bit let <laughs> me a little bit more cooler, you knock him this way. So you let in and you knock him pump, he go that way. So there are different force. So this is very very simple. Elbow and your elbow. This also the elbow, elbow force also. So usually, but if you want to control him, if you want to control him, you grab, you do, you hit, and you turn. Okay, and there is one. This is the front wheel, uh, very similar with, <laughs> 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 very similar with, with this one. Uh, so very similar with this one. Okay, the same one, same one, this one. But this one is in the front. When he punch, you see? So when you, when you, you have to practice, all these applications, you have to practice at least 5,000 uh, 5, to 100,000 times. Otherwise, don't expect you're going to help you. <laughs> but you, every day you do it, you know. Every day you do it. Every day you do it. You eventually, you have it inside you. The whole thing, the whole secret is, you know how it's going to be used. One day you practice so, daily, daily, when everything happens, boom, huh? how you fall out, you never know, know sometimes. <laughs> it's become part, become part of the second nature of you. And that's what happened that way, see? So when, for example, you punch me, very, very easy, I just, boom, right in here. So that is the, you have to be, you know? Because of the, don't grab. The whole thing is don't grab. Don't grab. Your whole body bang on him right here. And uh, it's very practical for me. And the uh, elbow, you. One, two, your hand is turned this way, you see? Three. One, two, three. It's just like you're holding, uh, you are, you are trapping the hand. One, two, the hip is turned. The whole thing is the hip turn. Hip turn. It's not your hand turn, not this way. One, two, two. It don't work. The hip don't move. The hip have to move to get the body move. One. And your leg is, is cutting leg, you see? One, two, three, Step back, one, two, three. Step in front, one, two, three. Step back, one, two, three.
Well, the cutting leg is also very important. One thing is stopping leg. <laughs> One thing is cutting leg. You go this way, you cut down. A very, very effective movement because you not necessarily you cut 10 times when you actually arrive in that situation. Some people, they don't know. They never heard of about cut leg. They never even know about it. And they don't aware of the leg at all. They always they want to punch you up here. But when you step in, you lock, you lock the leg had to be this way. And you lock the leg this way and you cut down this way. Very painful. He fall down, boom, like that. Okay. This is the back cut leg. And this is the front cut leg. Front cut leg, you need to be a lot of iron chest beating and, uh, and the chin beating. Beat your chin a little bit more tougher. Okay? So the, the front cut leg is your chin to chin. <laughs> chin to chin cut. And, but, but the one that cut, he, 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 you fall the guy falling down. And the guy, he has to wear the leg and wear the hand, he's very hard. So you either get the leg or you either get the hand and get the face. You see? So that's why is the, uh, the, uh, the cut leg is important. And now, usually, in a, in a life situation, he's not going to give me cut leg. When I go in, he already pull out. And pull back, pull back. And I follow cut this leg. You know? <laughs> so that is the, usually, sometimes second or third time you get it. Because when I, when, when, when he's going to punch me up here, I cut his leg, he move, I cut his leg, move. The third time I cut him. You know? So that is the, uh, is the follow of the leg cut. All I want is I want him going to go down. So when you are good enough, you move everything. For example, he punched me. I go in cut leg, I go in this way. I lock everything. Elbow, shoulder, neck, spine. I lock everything. And this is a, it's a very powerful lock. You know, how big they are, you got them. In that way, you lock them. And you can either don't hurt them, or either let it go, okay? Or either you can actually this way. It's a cool way. Let me now, uh, you know, cut down. When you really want to receive, you go the neck, the, the throat, and the spine, and push down that way. Because you lock everything. You cannot move. That's what they are, the lock leg. So the lock leg, the way you're going to learn the, the cut leg is you start with the easy one on the heel first and you cut. This is how the Tai Chi walk that you do. One, cut. Step two, cut. Okay, and cut, walk, cut, walk, cut, turn, walk, Cut on the heel, cut on the heel, cut. So like this, okay. So you practice by cut this way, cut this way. Go slow. You're gonna get your knee swollen. That means your <laughs> your chin swollen. Uh, quite painful, but after your pain and your normal pain, your chin is strong. Tai Chi, apparently, the whole Tai Chi is so many leg work. If you look carefully on the, on the whole form, this is leg. But you don't see it. You, you Any time the leg is free, it's kicking. So the whole form is... You see? The whole form is leg work. Cutting. So uh, if you're going to say Tai Chi is so much leg work, and so much grounding, kicking, and everything. It's only that in the form sometimes you don't see. You only see that I feel, kick, feel, kick, feel, like, but always so much is in the leg kick. For example, like the, the holding a ball is kick already. And if you want, don't want that, that much, that's already like this, you know, or like this. Cut leg. So Tai Chi is any time when you leg free, you can be kicking. Okay, and yeah, uh, like so that my my when I train with my master, it's so much leg work because when I move right away, I cut leg. It's the leg work. 
okay and uh, for example I get his leg right away it's automatically this is the tiger tiger kick you know and it's very useful and a lot of this kick for example a lot uh, a lot of when you punch a lot of this kick this is so much so much and um, when I practice with together this is my favor sometimes I don't want to Sometimes I don't want to encounter the first thing when you come in. That's the first one. <laughs> and there is a. Uh, 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 your leg is longer than the hand. So when you come. So when I don't know anything, I just come in. And when, when you are very good and relaxed, you can see wherever you want to go to. You can go to the uh, knee, go to the hip, go to the stomach. And this is very useful, useful leg work. So leg, Tai Chi leg work you have, for example this one, sweet leg. So you sweep him, you get him. This is lower sweep. This is higher knee. And this is the upper knee sweep also. So you come your hip, from your hip you sweep this way. And not from your leg, this way. So that's why the, the sweet leg is, uh, so your leg work is so much, okay? You sweep out, or you sweep this way, or sometimes you and um, and uh, so the the leg work is so much in the uh, in the um, in the Tai Chi because you are standing on on one leg, so one leg can move free. So sometimes I always say that the Tai Chi work leg on um, leg is about ninety percent. 95 percent is our leg because all the time every movement full empty the empty one can be kicked the empty one can be moved the empty one can do for anything so the whole form that you do roll back press sing you can use this leg anytime you want anything you want you only need one leg to stand you got two legs and pump this way so the leg, when you're going to kick, you have to this way. But in this way, you can use three things together. And the hip also. Because the hip, when I go in, my hip. So there's a lot of hip work. A lot of hip work. The same thing like the single, uh, the row, the uh, single whip. This is, that's why the elbow has to be sink. So, because when so in the in the in the form one, oh, really sh in the form one, the single whip, uh, the uh, the single whip, together with the hook leg, you see here, yeah? together with the hook leg, that's what you you do so much in the in the in the form one. So you when they grab you, you grab him, you cut the leg, and you move on the hip, you move on the hip this way. So that's why the whole thing, cut leg, sing back, cut leg, and single with his right. So, so much leg work in the Tai Chi only. Okay? And the, um, and the, uh, when you, when you get the grounding, it's very grounding, and your leg can move very freely. So the first thing, right leg to right leg. Right leg to right leg. And the people on this side push, and the elbow sink down and hold. Now when he too much, he work my force off, and he turn, and my hand turn down. So he push me back. When I feel his force, I sink back. When you keep on pushing too much, I make it fast this way. And I push back. Sing. Pushing me. Sing. Pushing back. Sing. Okay. It push me, I sing. Sing. Sing, I hold, I not corrupt down. Sure. I'm sing, 
sing, sing, sing, sing, hold my position. I turn my hip. Okay? I turn my hip, I turn my elbow. Not the hand don't move at all. I turn my hip. Okay? Now I turn my arm. My hand don't move also. A lot of you mistake is move your hand to push him. This is this way a lot of you do this way. Okay? Now, is your hip pushing. And you relax. Why? Because when I relax, he he, he gonna get anything. He move. I don't need to. He he can attack me anything or move. He gonna overturn me or whatever. I feel it. I feel his force. When he move, when I relax, I feel his force. I do it right because when you relax, you feel he's moving. But when you tend, you don't feel it. And that's how they are. When you so still, you say, "My God, why the refrigerator so noisy?" <laughs> You know? At night, bang, bang, but the whole day you don't hear them. If you don't sleep, you don't hear them. When you when you sleepy, you don't hear them. And when you don't sleep, you hear why the refrigerator so noisy. You see? This is exactly that. When I when you are relaxed, whatever you're gonna move, I I feel it. And I can react much faster than when I relax. Okay? So you see, when you push me, I sing, 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 I turn. Turn, my hip move, my body move, my hand don't move. So when he react on me, I know right away. When he push me, I hold. This one connected with this. You see? I hold, I hold, I hold. Sing. I turn my hip, my hip turn, my hand turn, elbow turn, this one. Okay? It's so simple. All you have to do, your hand don't move, your body move. So your whole weight is on your hand. You get it? Your whole weight is on your hand. So I don't move, my hand move. You see, uh, my, my, my hand don't move, my whole body move, and that is all, all I do. Don't move, your hand, your, your, your shoulder moving first, okay? Your hip move, you see now he's pushing me, he's pushing me, he's forced here, go down to my feet, because I use my structure. You see that? I don't care he's forced to come. And, and all I do is I hip. Turn my hand. My hand don't move again. My body move. Relax. Just hold the structure. That's all. Turn. Now he push me. I hold my structure in iron church. I hold my structure. When he push me, I feel his foot down to the ground. So I'm sound. If you do this way, when he push me, his force gonna on my back. He's also on my back. I have to go this way. You see? And all in the back, and he push me, I gone. But if I hold my structure, when he force push me, his force here go to my ground, to my ground. I don't care. I have, I have the mother earth back me up. I have to care him for. You see? <laughs> so uh, he push me. I just feel the force to the ground. I turn my hip. I push him. My hand don't move. My hand don't move. And that's it. So when he's too aggressive, and that's it. The whole body push him. And it out. Okay? And elbow down and up, so the uplift force. Okay, and the next one is the the press force. When it's too much, I word it off. So there's a word off. Okay, the word off force. Word off, and I so one force straight this way, and one force down, and one force straight this way. Okay, and that is the uh, that is a uh, uh, two force. Okay, so slowly you see when it's too much aggressive, uh, one, two force down, three go out. Okay, so that is the the force. Okay, and uh, this is the press. So you you word off, you press, you word off, you word off and roll back, and you press. 
and the push also what off and push so the same thing when it too aggressive when it when it too much I press it I press this way you see I get the hand this way and I push down and I push up that is how they are down and up so you three also three force also I already fought this way I make it force down and I push him up so I always keep his hand this way up not this hand down you get him so I try to guide his hand this way down and up okay so usually it's one movement okay when you actually do is one movement only it's not many movement and the, um, and the, uh, the word word off so I when it's too much aggressive he come on me I word off and I get him this this one to go that way okay so that is the uh, the word off so I get his for one force here one force here one force here so it's a three three force split out that way and the um that is the uh, a word off force and the rollback force is when the too aggressive got me I sing down and the the few way of word off way okay and maybe in this way the this side when it word off roll back roll back I roll back I roll back I roll back on him and the next force is the short um, the shoulder strike the shoulder strike when uh, when he too aggressive when he too aggressive I turn him here you see? so my shoulder have to be this way bring it on here the shoulder okay so that is the shoulder strike the whole thing is you have to turn just make yourself a force one force straight this way if you do this way you cannot shoulder strike one first one force strike this way okay it's one light force you see here when you are aggressive I pull him and I bang him you lower down sing down a little bit and you bang him on there okay bang him on this one so that is the uh, shoulder strike and the uh, and we have the elbow strike so when the two when you're aggressive or when you elbow up I give you elbow and I give him the elbow back it's very painful you know really right on the rib case okay so I uh, usually you elbow have many possible way one way is I get the elbow up and I give the elbow on the chest okay so the elbow right on the chest here or the elbow right on the on the on the chin here or the elbow right and I when I uplift his elbow this way right around on the stomach area so depending in, in a Tai Chi is very concerned that always get the elbow don't let him have a chance to give me elbow so so if I don't give if, if I don't get his elbow I get his hand this way he give me elbow you see but if um, so in the Tai Chi this one we call overturn the bowl the bowl you know your bowl when you eating uh, you have a soup you overturn it so in the bowl cannot use okay so when he when he come into me I overturn his elbow and this hand I overturn his hand so that is all from the Tai Chi movement a trapping hand okay trapping hand and at the same time my elbow get him so give him back the elbow okay and that is the um, the elbow strike and the, um, and the split form and run here when it okay when it too aggressive on me and it press I pull and and that is the split form okay so you get your you put your hand when it too much you guy you get your hand in the between and so you split one force this way one force this way and one force you pull three force or always mostly three force when it's too aggressive I push his hand this way one force go that way 
and another force go this way, and I speed his leg force go this way. So three different force and guide him out in the same nearly at the same time. So he force not on me. So come up. You know, so that is the the uh, the one force. The whole thing is that you have to do at at one. So that's why one leg stand is very important. So in the Tai Chi, always we don't need two legs in the same time. We need one leg stand. That's the important part. And uh, and that's eight force. Now, when he uplift me, too much uplift me, uplift me, and I uplift him back. Okay? Now, when he press me, when he press me, before he's gonna press, I come back, I press him back again. I press him back again. So you see again. If you can faster, if not, you have to use. So that because when he gonna move, I go already. On the same time, okay. So I go, I go first on uh, on that one. Another one is also can when he started to push me, to press me. I get him from the hip, okay. And the push. When he started to push me, I either I turn him this way and I push him back. Okay, or when he push me down, I get him out first. So I transfer his foot back to him. So there are many ways of doing things. Like when the pull, pull, I follow him and I move him right on the hip here because Otherwise, the, his force is too strong. When he pull me, his force is too strong, and I have to follow him, get him this way. And that is the uh, counteract force. Otherwise, you fall, and otherwise, you go. The same thing in the elbow. When he's going to give me elbow, he give me elbow, I uplift his elbow, I give me elbow. If he uplift my elbow again, he give me elbow, I give me elbow back again. And uh, But the elbow is hard, you know. It's Try slowly. You can knock people out so easily. The uh, the shoulder strike also. When he try to give me a shoulder strike, I push him up from the shoulder. Right from the shoulder. Because you see here, coming down, boom, this way up. So I turn, get his shoulder up this way. So that is like a lady shoulder again, this way. Otherwise, when he get on me, I'm gone. Okay, so you see here, yeah? shoulder strike. So I get him this way. Okay. The two hand push is one hand on the wrist, one hand on the elbow. One hand on the elbow. So you push, he turn, I turn this way, he push me, I go this way. See, I turn him, I push again, and I hold it, I sink back, I turn, I push, hold it, I sink, down, down, okay, and that you use this eight foot on here also, for so, Using the eight force also in here, so the like uplift force you go down and the same. Okay. So there's word up and upward. Press the same and press. Push the same. When you too aggressive, down. And up, okay. And the um, and the same thing is word off when they push me when they too much aggressive. I word him off, okay. And you pull down, you step, and you pull down. The same thing again, 
and uh, roll back. You step, you roll. I not grab his hand, I just your finger guy. I roll back this way. Okay? The same thing like in the shoulder strike. Shoulder strike you know, over here. Shoulder strike. I get his hand out and I bang on. Okay. The same thing in the elbow strike. I get the elbow out and give me an elbow. Okay. So yeah, this way, this way, or this way. So there's many way of elbow strike. And uh, the same thing like split. When he's too aggressive, I stop, I split him this way, okay? So let's show this way. This, when it's too aggressive, Tai Chi, if you're not aggressive, you have no mistake. That's why it's very hard, Tai Chi. Then you're not aggressive and you don't lose your ground, you don't lose your rooting. When aggressive, you're too much. And I have, I have a chance to do it. That is the uh, push hand. There are many, all together, push hand is more than 20 to 30 in the, in the healing down. We have a next level of pushing hand. Like, another one is very good, is the elbow. Elbow push using a uh, tremendously useful. Elbow. Okay. And I push him. He open my elbow. And he push me. I open his elbow. And I push him back. Because later on, when you're good enough, you can close your eyes, you can feel elbow. The elbow is so important in the, in the Tai Chi. You must... He push me, push me, my hand is on the elbow, I all turn his elbow, and my hand turned this way. See? I, this hand is turned this, so I turn his elbow up, and I push him back, he turn my elbow up, I push me, I turn his elbow up, and I push him back. This push hand is going to help you opening the scapula. The same push again, he push me, and then come to the scapula, and I turn. See that? My scapula movement. So he continue pushing me, the scapula is too tight. Yeah, okay. Not don't move before I move. Okay. One thing is don't move before I move. That's whole thing. I, he push, push me, push me, push me, or in the scapula. So I transfer his first in the scapula. And because this is what happened in here, push me. So I just stand here, you just keep on pushing me as hard as you can. Push more, harder, hard. So push two hands also, push. So push as much as you can, just push. Keep on pushing. Because I'm not moving. I, I'm moving my scalp, right? So he, he first had no, he's no, nothing on me. So I transfer his fall all over. The same thing is in the chest. Okay. Right, I see the chest and I direct the force in a different way. And uh, that is how this scapula will help tremendously. When, come, when the force comes in, you either can take out. In a normal way, when you stiff, you push you, you go that way. This is the, 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 the force that pushed me. Apparently, when he pushed me, you see it's no force because you see that he pushed me, I don't feel anything, but it's a lot of force in here. A lot of force in here. That if I stay or he falls, you're going to see. This is how the force. But when I transfer, it seems like nothing. And you see that it's, it's so simple. Nothing. But God, the force cannot apply on me. And that is from this scapula opening. And now you see here. He pushed me. I not move. I let it fall to my scapula. You see? And I turn, I push in, his first open, his scapula open. Now, he first come to my scapula. So this one is not that much sink. But the scapula, when you push me, 
You see, I let his 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 force from the, he puts it from the elbow, and I let it first go to my scapula and I rotate my scapula, and this opening the scapula, very important to opening the scapula. Now the next one is opening the groin, opening the groin push hand. So sing down, okay. Push me, and his hand come up to near me. See that? And and so he have he have a holding on me, and I can help him open this groin area. Push me. So I turn this way. I push him first, and he sing, 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 and my hand drop down, and push me, and okay, going this way. Okay, go the other side. Okay. So push, sing, and my hand very naturally go down this way. He push me, and this will help tremendously open the groin tendons. And you naturally you do it and you get it. Okay, and that is the uh, is another push hand. Because the sink is involved with a lot of tendon. Okay. And the other one opening the back, the whole back, push hand. So you, so you sink, but the hand, hand don't lo loose. The hand don't loose on me. Okay. And push. So this opening the whole back here. So you get the other partner to help you open it. So all this is very important. Very important in the, in the opening the, the scapula, the hip, and the door of life. So this is the door of life. The opening the, the groin area, we call open the quad. Opening the quad. You sing and you down. And he push me, push me, push me, I sing, and the hand very naturally. Very, just drop down. No force, just drop down, and that's it. Okay? This side. Just drop down, you see here? Very naturally. And he sing, and I drop down. That's it. Now he have a hold on me so he can open his, his coin. And very relaxed way and that is opening the coin. Now opening the, the door of life. He's pushed me, I turn, hold. The whole thing he had to hold, uh, not hold, he had to touch my elbow. Okay, I push him and he overturn me and I still, that's how you open it, you see. i still holding in this and He overturned me. Now you see how I overturn him. I overturn him this way. See that? And I turn this way. So his this one is open. Call me. Okay. So that is the uh, opening the door of life. Now this to to do the chest sink. He push me. I open. I push him back. And he pushed me from here, from the qua. From qua, I get him up. And I push him, he sing down. Okay, come back. From here, you see? And so you learn to sing the chest. Chest sing and qua sing like this. Uh, learn how to sing the chest and sternum. So you, what you do is, he push you, you sing, sing the chest and sing the hip. And you lift him up from the scapula. 
lift him up from the scapula. Okay? Don't lift him up from the hand. You have no force. When he, when he, when he really gets you, you have no force. You have to lift him up from your scapula. Sometimes, if he push me too much, I lift up, he fly that way. You see? So he push me this way. It's already gone from the scapula. From here. And from the scapula. Okay? 